Ellie, let me ask you a question. Yeah, fire away, dude. What? Fire away, dude. Oh. <laughs> yes or no? Finding the right hair color for you, Allie, yeah. can be a challenge. Uh, what color is my hair right now? Burgundy. Yeah. Was that on purpose? No. Did I need to use e-salon? Yes, you did. Oh, I fucked it up. Oh, wait. <laughs> you can scratch oh. that. No, it's miss- great. E-salon offers professional grade. <laughs> Leave that in. <laughs> completely personalized hair color that's created just for you and delivered right to your door. Allie, you fucking need this. I need it so much. This is the last time I will color my hair without taking the steps to get the right color. I grabbed a color off the shelf. It was the wrong color. My hair is maroon now. Don't do it. Allie, do you love questionnaires? Yes. Here's a hair questionnaire. Upload your photo and a personal colorist will formulate your individually blended color from over 15 thousand pigments oh my god i know i need e-salon in a time machine to go back to yesterday (laughs) totally well they've got you covered there's a hundred percent satisfaction guaranteed if you're not happy ally oh god i need with your color it will give you a free reformulation or refund i think anything's better than what i did to myself before you look cute thanks dude but you know what? I like that the color doesn't fade. Like they have the grays covered. Because we get, I get some grays every once in a while. I mean, at 23 years old, I our know. gray is like pretending to start to come in. I know. It's probably because we're such big thinkers. We're so young. So you can visit esalon.com slash slumber party, all one word. And do that. You get 50% off your first order. So that's 10 bucks for your personalized hair color, which is crazy. Because the last time I got my hair colored in a salon, it was like $180. Dude, you can do it your freaking self. I've been doing it my freaking self for years and years. Yeah, I just, I really got the wrong color. So I need to use eSalon. You get 50% off your first box at eSalon.com slash slumber party. So go do that. Don't don't be an Allie Ward. Send us photos too. Hashtag it at, I don't know, Allie in Georgia. Let's see your hair. Yeah, just tag us in it on Instagram. Let's see your pictures. Let's do it. I want to look at your hair. Bye. We're in a teepee. We're actually in a teepee. Can you hear this? That is uh, the cutest dog in the world munching his own butt right now. In, it's in, in the middle of our circle of. It's a. It's like a yeah. a sixty pound labradoodle chomping on his own hindquarters. <laughs> it's just the cutest thing. Yeah, I've ever seen. but it's the cutest thing ever. And we're um we'll explain why we're in a teepee with a labradoodle. But this is slumber party. Right. Uh, Allie, what'd you learn this week? Okay. Um, I learned a lot of things and I'm trying to figure out which one's going to be most interesting to you. I'm trying to lay off of the insect facts because I feel like I talk about it a lot. Okay. Um, okay. So I found this to be interesting. Guess how much water. Have we talked about this yet? Mm-mm. How much water Los Angeles uses per year? How much? Just like guess in the millions or billions of uh, gallons. 21. 3.2 billion. 3.2 billion, mm-hmm. 138 billion gallons of water Holy per year Los Angeles uses. Man. Guess what 50% of that goes to? Lawns. Lawns. I knew Fucking that. lawns. You know, what the pro- you know what a big problem is? And this drives me crazy. I learned this when I was in, uh, in elementary school. That, like, it's such a bad idea to water your lawn during the day. Oh, yeah. And whenever I see someone with their fucking sprinklers on during the day, I'm like, you're a bad person. Well, do you know that if you see someone with a hose during the during daytime, you can actually turn the hose on them <laughs> legally? <laughs> you can spray them in the fucking face. Oh, God, I want to do that so Can you bad. imagine? Like, excuse me, ma'am, can I see your hose? She's like, why, sure. And then you just plaster the face and turn it off. You're like a vigilante. Why? An uh, aqua vigilante. Why did you learn this and why is this interesting to you? Um, I learned this. It was, uh, it was like painted on the wall at the Natural History wow. Museum at the at the Nature Lab but I was like half of it goes to turf lawns that's crazy 59% of Los Angeles is paved in concrete that's so that why leaves we need cacti that's why we need to like get follow to Arizona's I know I, I just I didn't, wouldn't even think of like lawns as being like a dick this I, is why I do everyone a favor and live in an apartment kill all the plants I ever buy oh. on accident because I just am trying to conserve that's so good of you I know I'm a really good person you're a plant murderer what did you learn I don't know I didn't really learn anything this week let me think 
nothing. You learn nothing. Yeah. We well, did. We you know coming into this teepee. I know that you're gonna have to. Okay. By the way, we're in a teepee because we used to record this in a pillow fort, and then I made a teepee out of canvas and some dowels, and now we've decided to record it. I want to learn why you made a t- this week. I want to learn right now why you learned why you learned to make a teepee. Learned, why did you, why you made a teepee? Okay, this is what you learned. You're learning. This is what I'm learning this week because <laughs> I'm not prepared like an asshole. Um, I always wanted a teepee, and they're very expensive because they're made well by um, indigenous people who do it out of tradition and craftsmanship so i decided to go to home depot like a white girl and uh using plans like kind of off pinterest and kind of off of like a um like the sioux tribe plans i made a hybrid and i cut a semicircle out of uh thank you i mean it's made out of you can make it out of like willow sticks and it's better but i mean in terms of making something you can sleep outside in, it I works. know what I learned this week. What I watched this movie, this documentary on Netflix, uh-huh. um, and it's about a, guy, about a guy, okay, cute kind of punk rock hipster dude, yeah, in New York, who out of nowhere one day started seeing devils and angels and demons and <gasps> spirits and auras. And he just like suddenly started seeing them, and, and he got. It's the movie's about him trying to figure out what the fuck's going on he was on drugs he that's wasn't the answer on drugs. and it's like a four minute movie <laughs> and he's on drugs roll credits <laughs> no he wasn't on drugs he didn't have a brain injury he didn't have any kind of issue he wasn't schizophrenic okay it just it's actually a really interesting movie about you know i mean there's so many stories uh, through the ages of people who start seeing these things and like what does it really mean and it's just a great movie. What did you? What What did the end? Was it like, oh, it's cool. He's just a shaman. It's a spiritual <laughs> journey. Yeah, I know. He goes to meet all these shamans, and he goes to meet neuro, like neuro neurologists, and okay. he goes to meet all these people to, to like help him figure out what's going on. Yeah, and his wife is super hot and cool, and like and helpful but doesn't but thinks he's full of shit a little yeah. bit yeah she's like why don't you pay attention to me and my vagina instead yeah. of all these ghosts the aura in my yeah. vagina she's right. <laughs> okay well let's introduce our guest let's, let's ask see what she learned this week erin mcgathy what she learned erin mcgathy Hello. this feels Hi. terrible this feels terrible podcast and live show at ucb she's a painter she's a painter she's a friend of ours she's an amazing cake a writer maker, a writer <sighs> she's a great one we love her she throws <laughs> awesome her. parties she does erin mcgathy thanks for Thank being you. the teepee Hi. Hi. thanks for having me we said thanks for letting my dog come into the teepee with us Hell yeah. He, we're going to be using him every podcast now. <laughs> I think I think he qualifies as an emotional support animal because I'm way happier since yeah. I've like buried my whole mitts in his this ridiculous dog, You guys need to go to Aaron's Instagram and look yep. at this. Just stare at photos of this dog. Or Aaron <laughs> McGathy. And like, I think that's the end of our podcast. Yep. Just right. go. Check yeah. out my dog. Thanks. Yeah. Um, Thanks for having me. We learned that your dog's awesome. What did you learn? Yeah, we do. Uh, well, real quick, talking about water conservation, my uh-huh. very first acting job in Los Angeles was... Uh, as a traveling children's theater oh, person for, yes. and the show was about water conservation. So you're the kind of person who probably taught me when I was in elementary school about Exa- that. Yeah, I was exactly that person. Oh I God. played three different characters and uh, a, a, like a New York plumber fairy <laughs> character and sure. a, uh, oh, they're all, they're all different kinds of fairies, which was never explained. Fairies? fairies. Never explained. There's a punk rock guy in the background losing his shit. He's like, I'm saying fairies. <laughs> oh, it's like, no. <laughs> you're in an elementary school gym <laughs> and we uh me and this other guy who was obsessed with corn and would just play corn the oh, band, the band. Oh, I, meant corn. I, like, oh, yeah, I wish great, i wish that would be fascinating i would I, there would be a documentary <laughs> made called no. my life with with the guy who loved corn um <laughs> but no it, it, corn with a k and we would travel from uh Did he have school a to school he did not have a goatee he, his name was Brian, and he was really angry. Him at, we knew each other because I was on the main stage of this, at this improv theater that he was trying to get into. Mm-hmm. So most of our conversations were about how angry he was that he wasn't on wow. the main stage of this Aww. not very cool improv theater. <laughs> That's and no way to succeed. Play corn. I've dated him, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I feel um, like you can't, have, you can't get on an improv team if you have a flavor saver like soul patch which i feel like if you listen to corn you have to have a flavor saver yeah. soul patch and you can't be on an improv team if you have a bad goatee he definitely had a uh, wearable soul patch called a chain wallet oh, oh wow chain explains it all that. explains it all. that guy oh, oh he was terrible and halfway through halfway through our journey we both kind of just decided that we didn't like each other <laughs> which is really really special for me like i will do anything um but it just like if just you don't like point. someone that means um, I don't, I, I mean, I don't, I don't tend to okay. dislike people, I guess. Like I'll, I'll go down into the, the, the deepest, dirtiest, uh, depths of myself to, uh, relate to somebody, but he would, he would, um, 
when I would be sleeping, he would start playing corn. No. And I would ask him to stop, and he'd be like, no, 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 this is like, this is, this is an acoustic set. An acoustic set. set. Oh, so, which no. sounds just like bad guitar, oh, and then, no. um, and that, I would just wake up no. to that. And I would say, please, please, like, I don't do this when, no, when you, you don't are play music when people are sleeping. sleeping. No. Yeah. Cool. That's a misdemeanor I'm in being stocked yeah, on awful, top of But I learned a lot, I learned a lot about uh, water conservation. What else did you did you learn anything this week? You want to you want to inform us about? Um, I hosted a uh, medieval feast this what? week. Mm-hmm. What's that about? Uh, well, I play. Uh, oh, I saw the photos of this. <laughs> I play a role playing game with my friends called Pathfinder, <laughs> pretty which is cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's it's like Dungeons and Dragons. It's identical to Dungeons and Dragons. It's just like. Uh, not with the name Dungeons and Dragons. Is it rebranded for the new century? For it's, the new- it's rebranded because, I mean, it's a very boring story about the guys who own Dungeons and Dragons not wanting, like, the the game, or, like, wanting it to progress in a different way. So people who are more old school um, play Pathfinder. Well, yeah, it, it does have the, the, like, if you say to someone, I'm playing Dungeons and Dragons, they immediately are like, oh, so you're a nerd. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's kind of, not that that's but true. But now it's kind of in vogue a little bit. That's or true. maybe not. Maybe I just feel that way because of my friend circle. But. No, I feel like there's, um, I feel like when you're a virgin, playing it is sad, but when you're like, <laughs> it's cool, I got a nice car, I can oh, play yeah. Pathfinder. I've had sex with a lot of people, you guys. <laughs> you so know what I mean? It's pretty cool. <laughs> so you don't get to play then. You, you have to play Pathfinder. <laughs> Graduate to Pathfinder. You've had sex, you have to play Pathfinder. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What if okay. Pathfinder is just D and D, but with more blowjobs. <laughs> like, like you encounter an, a wizard. It does, there I is a know. speak of documentaries. There's a documentary about uh, Dungeons and Dragons and like role playing in general called I think the Dungeon Master or mm-hmm. Dungeon Master, and things. I mean, I know that if I would have played role playing games, I the sad truth is that I did play role playing so games when yeah. I was, but I, I didn't have anyone to play them with me, so I would play them by myself, <laughs> which is even. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to have an out sad contest or anything. But um, I had a magic deck. Oh, did you? And I was a virgin until I was nineteen. <laughs> oh, cool. So there you go. All right, guys. I still have the magic deck, and I keep it in my nightstand drawer. Either? Would you ever yeah, play? Still? Would you ever play a role? I would totally game? play. The funny thing is, is for some reason I've kept, I've had this magic deck for a million years, and it's in the same drawer that I keep prophylactics. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's one of those things where it's like you could reach for one and re- and like really ruin your chances immediately. Like it's in, it's in a boner killer. That's drawer. so funny. I have but a anyway. thing where every time I hear prophylactic, I hear probiotic as a yogurt so i immediately yeah. just pictured a drawer full of yogurt <laughs> oh <my laughs> like, that's where i keep my cards i got a gogurt stash it's in a holocaust <laughs> book you know you wake up in the middle of the night and you want to go yeah. it looks like a pepsi can but you open it and i stash my gogurt in it <laughs> wait so you were um you were so you're hosted in medieval. so yeah right. so my so my friends that i play with who are all really funny creative comedian people who get really committed to things uh, the cat and the dog are having they are, i'm watching it's kind of hilarious um they we usually play on Tuesday nights and we moved it to Saturday afternoon and I love throwing parties and so I just and I didn't I wanted to distract myself from the things that I actually had to do so I said I will throw I'm going to make a medieval feast and learn how to make food like they did in medieval wow. times using Great. grains of paradise and <gasps> like old old school spices so how I long did it take you yeah what did you make exactly it took two days wow I made it. um I made a oh, and I was using I was using the Game of Thrones cookbook. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god, which, yeah. has, which is a, amazing! It's really great. <laughs> All uh, of the instructions are to take your top off, <laughs> and then start cooking. Um, take out your sister's underwear. <laughs> Um, it's it's great because like they, it has all of these medieval recipes and then also like the more modern yeah. variation. It's written by like an actual. That's cook. great. It's, it's really great. Idea. It's really yeah. great. Yeah. So I made I made um, these uh, like raisin apple rolls, cheese rolls. Whoa! Oh, God, the cat and the dog. There's right? some cat and dog action happening right now, <laughs> guys. But Fib's not backing down. My so we have so this is Fib the pod cat and Harvey the labradoodle, <laughs> and it's like a cute. Harvey's off. actually a golden doodle. It doesn't oh, matter. Golden. Oh. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay. It's a golden doodle. Pardon me. <laughs> that just got more muppet like. <laughs> That's oh, jeez, oh, guys. There's essentially there's just like a there's Harvey, a wrestling Harvey, contest. Harvey, stop it! Come here. Poor what Fib. are you trying to prove? Fib is this old lady of a cat. She's been like the she has only no child for yeah, her entire she's life. The, the matronarch. She the has matronarch. Uh-huh. She has no <laughs> teeth. And then all of a sudden, Aaron gets this adorable dog, and Fib is just like 
her life is she's like well what have you done to me <laughs> what have you done to me they'll sleep near each other they're mostly fine with each other but he does not understand that she does not want to play yeah and that is the source <laughs> of all of their problems it's kind of <laughs> like my any reason why a breakup has happened when someone's breaking up with me is just the neediness of harvey but, but <laughs> get harvey back here i'll touch his butt harvey, i'll scratch him on the butt um wait but i <laughs> so keep... so i so uh so sorry what were you gonna say? so i keep I, we keep interrupting you about what you so my okay. so i made i made a cheese and onion pie like a traditional Ooh. cheese and onion pie with like saffron crust oh, and nice. um i made a beef and bacon pie wow. and a uh, a big brisket and uh, uh, t- creamed turnips Yum. and buttered beets Damn. wow girl that sounds amazing it turned out it actually it turned out really good so and you blueberry learned, pie. So you learned how to make all of this over the course of two days. This yes. is such a great... I love yeah. that, like, I do things, too, where I'm like, I'm going to do this crazy thing because I don't really feel like doing what I have to do. Yeah. But what if you're... Because you do that with cakes, too. You make a lot of cakes, right? I do. Well, it's weird. Like, I was not... I don't think, like, up until six months ago, I was a good cook. Yeah. But I started obsessively making um, cake mix cakes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think, like, through that process, I learned how to cook, even though that's not making anything from scratch. No. You're just adding oil, water, and eggs. I completely think, though, and this is how I taught, I learned how to cook and taught myself how to cook, is that it's really just about getting comfortable in the kitchen. Mm-hmm. And it's really about getting comfortable with the tools and mixing things. And, and understanding your oven. Yeah. Heat. And then like, once you do that, thing. once you have confidence, you know, even if something doesn't turn out well, yeah. you can do it. So now do you make cakes, like, on your own? Like I suggest everyone looks at hashtag ugly cakes by McGath. We have a on cake here. on there right now oh with God. our freaking name. She made on us it. a cake for this podcast. Yeah. She supplied a golden doodle, <laughs> a cat with no teeth, and a pot, like essentially a cake pie. You this guys aren't going to leave, exciting. right? No. At the end of this, <laughs> no. you guys won't know going to stay. We're living here now. <laughs> We're just going to stay. Do you want to play a slumber party game? Yeah. Yes, okay. I have in my jean pocket, damp with sweat. Um, it's 108 degrees outside in Los Angeles. Um, oh, I, you know, I kind of already knew know which one I want to ask. Okay. And this is um, a question we sometimes ask. If you could map out your perfect day from like start to finish, like you get up and you have like a certain like Breakfast. coffee that you drink or like you go somewhere or you're in Morocco or whatever, like what would your perfect day from start to finish be? Like oh the, boy. The, the best. Okay. Uh, I think, I don't think it matters where I am. Maybe it will. I I hate it when people like overthink these questions. I know it doesn't matter, but I'm like really excited by the question. Um, I I think probably I'd be at home and I uh, my boyfriend and I have these days where we'll both wake up at like 4 a.m. But we don't get out of bed. We'll just turn on a movie, which is so fun. And we turn on the movie and then we'll fall asleep to the movie and and wake up. So I think wake up at like 4 a.m. Do that weird movie thing. What movie? Um, I think like a bad, a bad movie, a movie that's okay to fall asleep to like a, we just watched a really shitty movie called the Kovac box. <laughs> what is that? Uh, it's a movie with Tim- Timothy Hutton. That's, uh, <laughs> my dog is literally sitting on Allie's face <laughs> and eating her microphone. <laughs> I mean, does this make you feel better or worse about your dating situation? <laughs> is it validating? <laughs> something? <laughs> <laughs> How are this is a very special episode of Summer Party Valley Jordan. Okay, so you put on a weird movie. Okay, so we put on a movie, and then I think uh, we go. I get breakfast, brunch with a bunch of friends. Where's and, your favorite place for brunch? Um, I really love Malo. Oh, yeah, they uh, in Los Angeles, never do Ma- I never do Malo. It's it's really for it's brunch. It, yeah, no one no one really goes for brunch. Oh no, no one go, no I've one go. That's great. It's kind of like a hip Mexican restaurant. Yeah, for those who don't know, it's pretty it's pretty quiet, and their drinks are great. Mm-hmm. Uh, they have a lot of really fun tequila cocktails and things. So we'd go there, and then. I think. Oh, I know exactly. We go back to the house. I love playing games and. My least favorite, the only thing I don't like about games is having to stop. So if we, <laughs> it would be coming back to my house and me getting to host, because I love hosting. I, no one would come to any parties that I threw when I was a kid. So now I'm just like constantly <laughs> oh throwing God, parties. I love it. And I wasn't invited to them. I so. love that that's the explanation because your parties are great. Yeah. Thank you. And really well attended by really cool people. So right, you, yeah. you've, you've won, I Catch think. Catch my origin story, me being like a tiny little uh, <laughs> ugly kid at the back of the party being like, I would have put out the Rice Krispies a little bit earlier. 
<laughs> I would, I would have done decorated it. them. Maybe we should initiate a game. The, 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 the energy is slowing down. Which is, <laughs> with a game with rules, we know how to interact with each other and everyone feels comfortable. <laughs> Um, but that never happened because I wasn't at any parties. Uh, but uh, this, is not, this is not. So we would come back. To okay, the, we would come back to our house and we would throw, we would play a lot of parlor games. I think. And then when we when we organically felt sick of of doing that, I think uh, we'd like watch. I love nights when you're just like watching a bunch of weird videos. So a lot of like, watching and drinking and hanging out. I think it sounds. Pretty sounds perfect. Mad chill is yeah. what that sounds it's like. Chill, but it's you're surrounded by cool people. There's no pressure to like yeah. get, out, get dressed up and go out anywhere. Oh, and then horses come in the in the twi- in the evening. <laughs> horses come. Fifty, a fleet of horses come of and uh, pick us all up, and we ride down the beach on the Horse. horses. I, I think that would be it. it. So you're like exhausted. Yeah, from from Los Feliz to the beach. It's a <laughs> super. <laughs> Well, you said it, like it could be anything. Yeah. So they're 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 it magic horses. They're, yeah, there's a portal. It's a portal. There's a portal. A horse it's portal. near the it's near the one ten, and then it's, <laughs> it's, it's reserved just yeah. for insane rich people, people on, horses. on horses. Yeah, <laughs> it's a horse portal. Horse portal. That's, that's a, portal. a great. That's yeah. a great day. I like that. That's a. What would what would your uh, like abbreviated good day be? Um, if there was a jacuzzi and pool involved in Aaron's story, I yeah. would add that. Oh in. yeah, okay. So that would definitely be something I'd add. Are in. we giving her notes? Or just <laughs> notes? <laughs> No, no. Well, that's kind of fun. I mean, I want to know that you're perfect. Just getting I also love notes. Yeah, on her. maybe let's see what I would add on because you're. You know, Act Three perfect. is light on jacuzzis. <laughs> okay, can we add to Aaron? I'm gonna add, I'm gonna take Aaron, but I'm gonna plus. Okay, a pool and jacuzzi. Sweet. Um, you know what I've really been wanting to do lately is like lay out in the sun. But I, my perfect day, I wouldn't get cancer from it. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. With a magic, if we get a magic horse portal, you can, can absolutely fuck, horse <laughs> fuck melanoma. I cannot get cancer, and I can also not get a freckle mustache above my goddamn lip that I have. Um. Uh. What is that? Uh, what is it called again? It's called melasma. Melasma. Yeah. Fuck melasma. Fuck melasma. That's your fuck. Yeah. This. I, what, what is melasma? melasma. It's it's just, like just a, freckles. It's just like dark spots that like you get from the sun or from being on birth control, and I have them on my upper lip, and so it's like this dark. You look like you have a freckle mustache. Oh, yeah. it's called melasma. It's a thing. Yeah. Huh. I am. Um, I was really paranoid that I got that. And I would. Ab- and I when I went to Thailand, I would obsessively reapply sunscreen mostly to my upper lip. because I was like, <laughs> I don't want to get a freckle stash. And I look back on pictures and I was like, I actually had a whitish area. <laughs> that was so like, what would you add to that? To your oh, what are my network notes on her? Yeah. Um, act one is uh, could use a, a dirty iced chai. Have you ever okay. had a dirty chai? No, what is that? So, okay, it's chai, it's a chai tea mm-hmm. with milk in it, and then I like to use some cayenne pepper and some cracked black pepper to make it really spicy, but you can also add a shot of espresso to make it a dirty Ooh. chai. Okay. So, a night, like a that lot of ice. really good. I it's, love spicy things. Right? Mm-hmm. So, sweet, spicy, caffeinated, I'd start my day that way. Um, super into the horses. Uh, maybe a Pegasus, I'd add it. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, oh, well, that solves the portal problem. <laughs> Why didn't I just say that? Uh, obviously. Like, in your fantasy, you can have a horse, but you can't have a, a Pegasus. Line. Like, it's like that. <laughs> and a portal that doesn't exist. Really uh, and one that makes us all thin. Yeah. I mean, let's... That, can I I'm not into that. walk out anymore? As I'm saying yeah. this as I'm eating a fruit gusher. Those are... I'm sorry. I don't mean to insult you. I know you didn't make them, I'm though. into them. Those are gross. I love them. They're, yeah. We're eating yeah. gushers. I mean, they're 90s... Name a 90s sa- snack food that's yeah. uh, fruit not by the foot. gross. I love it. fruit by the foot? Yeah, I have some. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god! I remember. Aaron <laughs> threw. Uh, yeah, I threw a now and then party. Aaron threw a now and then like '90s party. The, the, the dress like yourself when you were 12, which mm-hmm. really high jean shorts would be my thing. High waisted nice. jean shorts Hot. with a really tightly tucked in Stussy t-shirt. Awesome. Yeah. And probably, probably. <laughs> you take this, Harvey. You squeeze it. Um, and some really thick tube socks. And some oh LA gear tennis shoes. Oh nice. What's your, what are you? What did you dress like as a toddler? I was wearing a giant chunky sweater, which I used to wear all the time. Yeah. I would wear my mom's clothes because I was really fat. <laughs> and then I I had a. You're very hard on yourself as I a know. kid. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I should I should be. <laughs> it's, it's all <laughs> like, it's I all earned. It. Frank, <laughs> <heard>. Frankly, <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't change a thing. But I mean, yeah. I really just like was constantly putting targets all over myself, uh, <laughs> my personality and my clothing. Um, but I I. 
uh, Iron Dawn. Do you remember those patches that were like peace frogs yes. and rainbows? And yeah. all, I ironed those on all of my clothes, oh including my, my sweatpants. So that's what I <laughs> that's what I wore. Do you remember those um, when you wore a big baggy T-shirt? They have those like clips that you tuck. It tuck it's like a belt, almost like a belt clip. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. You can like scrunch up the side of one of your, no. of your T-shirts. Oh, yes, I do know. You know? Yeah, it's mm-hmm. like a ponytail for your sweatshirt. Right. It's a that's ponytail That's pretty for your fucked. Sweatshirt. You're like, have you checked out my pony, my sweat pony? I those. Sweat yeah. ponies, thumbs down. Did we but just I mean, all dress worse in that time, or do all kids dress? Because I don't see kids dressing like crazy. I dress like a crazy person. Well, kids now just dress like adults. Yeah. But when we when we were kids, like there were actual kids' clothes, like stretchy shorts, yeah. and I guess adults were kind of wearing those, but, but adults, we weren't. I think adults, we weren't wearing shoulder pads. Adults dressed terribly then oh, too yeah, yeah. everyone yeah. We just did. dress better now or do we not it's just the time of our oh my god i have so many questions you guys. i think everything sucks in hindsight that's okay. what we've learned we've learned that about childhood yes. we've learned that about fashion we've learned that about regimes everything sucks in <laughs> hindsight <laughs> do you know what i mean yeah. let's ask Aaron another slumber party okay. question oh here's one um Oh, do you have a favorite midnight snack? We yeah. love to ask this Nobody one. Knows. This is George's favorite this question. This is my favorite question. Oh, okay. um, I think uh, ice cream, ice cream with uh, with with milk poured on top of it. Not a not a milkshake, <gasps> but if I've you never just take ice cream, and I mean it's a lazy person's milkshake. <laughs> if you take ice cream and you put it in a cup and then pour uh, milk over it. It's like kind of soupy, cunty. Yeah, it's. I was. Did you say cunty? <laughs> <laughs> it's the cuntiest. I meant to say fucking cunty. Bitch. I said cunty. Well, does it get like crisp, like sugar crystals all around it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when you do thing. when you have a root beer cunty. flow, it gets yeah. cunty. <laughs> this is the cuntiest. It's not <laughs> sherbet I've ever had. I'm not being lewd. Uh, yeah, why would I say cunty? Um, that is a. I, I mean, I've never heard of eating ice cream. You know, I really do like when you. I used to like mix my ice cream so much that it was basically soup and I yeah, yeah, yeah. Dr- oh, yeah. drink it, you know? My, um, I used to call that mush mush when I was a kid. Hmm. And, and I think my sisters would just be like, no, she's making mush mush. Can I tell you what, what kind of ice cream person? I love mint chocolate chip ice cream. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's Do you want to know what I snacked on the other night, you guys? This is my weirdest, like, yeah, this is my midnight snack that happened the other day. I had leftover caramel from this baking thing I did and I had matzah. And oh, salted yeah. matzah. And I slathered, I hate that word, I, I hate that word. slathered <laughs> the matzah with caramel. Uh, fuck yeah. And I fucking ate like four pieces of it. Awesome. How cunty was it? It was just the cuntiest <laughs> <laughs> snack. <laughs> Delicious. What's your, what have you eaten lately that's weird? Oh, I, ha- I had actually, speaking of milkshakes, speaking of cunty, cunty milkshakes. <laughs> I had, I made a, uh, we've been working on these recipes for the holidays and I made a spiced bourbon pumpkin maple milkshake the other day Whoa. and I was like, get this shit away from me. <laughs> oh my God. Super. It was a fucking bitch. Oh, last it was night, so good. I took a handful of, um, honey roasted peanuts and a handful of chocolate chips and just yeah, shoved did. them all in my mouth. <laughs> I was in a bad place last night. Is it? No, I mean, that's a great place. Are you kidding? <laughs> that's the best you, place to be in. You guys are working on holiday recipes right yeah. now. Is that, yeah. is that crazy because it's so hot outside it's yeah Yeah, it's weird and neither of us have air conditioning yeah neither of us do but we've been we've been shooting since 2010 and we started shooting holiday videos in in may of 2010 so our whole holiday cycle has been fucked for like three years but it's weird because the holidays come around you're like yeah i did this like and also it's hard because (laughs) like over shopping for holiday ingredients when you're like making something in August for the holidays, you can't find those ingredients or the decorations or any of yeah. that shit anywhere. Yeah. You're not going to find persimmons for shit when yeah. you're like testing in July. Yeah. Do you know right. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if where do you can. get them? What do you do? Um, you improvise. You improvise. Yeah. Like I actually made a, um, I made a cocktail with cranberry sauce and gin and <laughs> lime and rosemary and it was actually really that good. Great. Great. I was surprised I could get cranberry sauce. I was like, who the fuck wants this right now? Yeah. Why are you selling this? And then I bought <laughs> four cans of it. Okay. I have another question. Okay. Um, if you're, okay, let's say that your house was on fire. God forbid. Let, and you had to get one thing that wasn't alive out of it. Hmm, We're saying you, this to Erin over her dog. Over her dog. <laughs> standing, standing one up. non-alive thing. Yeah. I mean, the obvious thing is your laptop, right? No, yeah, yeah. that's a good one. But but that feels so lame. It, does, no, it but doesn't. It, but it's true. Like I feel, all my information, everything yeah. is on it. Yeah, yeah, grab that laptop. Wah, wah. Yeah. What about my what mother's about, ruby ring? Yeah. <laughs> fuck that. What about one like yeah, like a like a sentimental thing? Do you have like a one sentimental thing that you say? Uh, yeah. I mean, I am terrible at keeping things, but I have these, and I'm forgetting the name of the artist, but my. I have these like <laughs> my dog's just eating himself. No, but Ali's scratching him and he's kicking his. <laughs> uh, um, 
I have these I have these these little ceramic birds that my mom left me I guess but my mom I mean this is not meant to be very sad but my mom died when I was in high school and my dad like very ceremoniously gave me these ceramic birds but I don't think my mom really cared that much about them (laughs) I think that my dad's like she would have wanted you to have the birds I was like great I I don't think she liked these but thank you so much now you can never get rid of them even though (laughs) your mom was like I'm not that crazy about these well yeah yeah well now it's like it's a it's a mother thing and then it's also the funny memory of my dad saying here are her birds (laughs) so probably those these birds they're in the kitchen. I feel like we just asked, we came into your home and we're like, what's the most valuable thing here and where is it? <laughs> Where's it located? Yeah. yeah. And where, what's, the, what's the code to get into it? Yeah. Let's say there were a code to get into the safe. What would okay. it be? Okay, sure. If you, oh, here's another question. What's your yeah. password to your computer? No. Yeah. Uh, let's ask another one. Um, uh, what's your weirdest obsession? Do you have any weird obsessions? I'll tell you mine. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, I want to hear it. Um, Hashtag Brussels Griffin on Instagram. <laughs> I heard that out here. Fucking, <laughs> I can't stop looking at them. And I don't have a dog. I can't have a dog in my apartment. And it's one of those things where it's like, Ward, it's 2.17 a.m. You've got to get up at 8. What are you doing? And I'm just liking <laughs> crazy Japanese people who have ugly, ugly as ass dogs. And How I'm like, often stop does it, that feed refresh? Or are you just going deeper and deeper and no, deeper? No, I go deeper and deeper. And then I, sometimes I'll make the rounds late at night where I'll go like Twitter, Facebook, Brussels Griffin on Instagram, Twitter, <laughs> Facebook, you know what I mean? Oh and I'll just God. run in a circle, much like a Brussels Griffin. I have and that. I can't my, stop. The hashtag, I do the same thing, but with... Um, Either cat and dog, because seeing a cat and dog <laughs> cuddle makes me want to die. It's Love it. I, and, or interspecies cuddling, which Snorks. there's not a lot going on. Yeah. Right. Or um, <laughs> there. A- animals cuddling, I'll get to. Because like seeing two cats sleeping with their arms around each other, I just oh. can't fucking deal with I know. That. Have you seen that Netflix show? It's not very good, but it's, I think it's an animal planet. I saw it. They, I yeah. Yeah. What was it? Like best, best friends from different species. Yep. It's basically, basically yes. interspecies cuddling. I've seen it. Like I the goat that, like, the blind, it's, there's like a blind goat and a oh, yeah. I horse when, and a. I love it when, like, a cold hearted tortoise is, like, <laughs> oh, absolutely <laughs> bowled over this, by a chicken. I love it? it. There was, like, a, on that one, there was this, like, 100 year old tortoise and this, like, I think like it a was hippo a, baby. A hippo baby was like, oh, yeah. this is my best friend. And <laughs> yeah. like, it's just the it's cute. So thing. Cute. Like, texture uh. wise, they're totally different. Temperament yeah. wise, they're totally different. And you're like, Cats and dogs what, living together. What's, what's your obsession? Well, I, I mean, when you say Instagram, I think Instagram is such a, a, pl- a place that uh, breeds obsessions. I'm obsessed with, on Instagram specifically, obviously I'm obsessed with like making cakes nonstop and whatever else. It's stupid. But um, I... God, I'm really down on myself today. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's so stupid. Everything I do is stupid. Um, so things that I look up. Uh, I am obsessed with a teenage, like preteen cheerleader culture on Instagram oh, which if you just it is such the highs and the lows <laughs> I like you, what's the hashtag that you could look up for that well it's not a hashtag I found I, I stumbled upon it months ago uh, by looking at the popular page and there oh, was some oh, some nice. girl that was I think like a 10 or like 10 or 11 mm. in insane uh, cheerleading makeup which is like drag makeup totally. which is drag yeah and uh, not a woman yet, a child in oh, like, like this cheerleading. And, yeah, ugh. and she's like a famous cheerleader, That's a but thing? she's only fam- yeah, she's famous within her own within cheerleading and so you go from that to another like thousands and thousands and like cheerleading inspiration and then they they shit talk each other it's insane and then they have these the most amazing maybe not the most amazing part of this but another thing offshoot of that is that there are male cheerleaders that all the girls are obsessed with who are clearly clearly gay but they are like girls are just obsessed with them and the comments it is so different from when we were kids like the, the comments are I, w- I want to be your girlfriend here's my phone number oh how do I God. like so the, it's so forward because it's all virtual yeah. you know so yeah. it's oh it's amazing That's but crazy. I will and I fo- I had to st- I had to unfollow a bunch because at one point I got really I got really narcissistic and I was like if someone went through my like who I was oh, following yeah. they would see 40 10 year old girls <laughs> and no, wonder wrong. what I Aaron was McGathy doing Aaron seems really cool but did you know <laughs> She might be a pedophile. Yeah, the yeah. best part is that you just went from following them to like lurking, which is like creepier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. it's like you're, you're less likely to get. Oh, caught, that reminds me, we were gonna read our our phones, Google searches. Oh yes, oh, do you yeah. want to do that? The only thing sure, is, and sure. I feel bad because my phone, I have an Android, and it won't let me search. This so is... I can't do it back. But I'll tell you guys like a secret. 
if you want. Oh, yeah. To, like, make up for it. So no, he, I hate secrets. Okay. Or, like, there's something gross about myself, you know? Because oh, I feel like this is going to reveal a lot, and I, I feel guilty not revealing something. It's going to reveal some stuff. So let's hear. Who wants to go? Why don't you guys go back I'll, and forth? I'll go, I'll go first. <laughs> okay. I'll go first. I'll bite the bullet. Okay, because Allie our... reading her Google search. <laughs> what did she last, search for? The last things I searched for on my phone. On her phone. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> Ladies and This is the worst game we've ever Love invented. <laughs> I, I feel bad that I can't play. All right. Um, and I say, I mean, it's your show, but what if we read them without editorializing and then we yeah. can talk about it? Okay. Because okay. yeah, okay. otherwise I will explain every yeah, single yeah, yeah. thing. <laughs> cool. Okay. Put your phone up. Your microphone okay. up. Okay. Do it. Um, Smurfs. Ashtanga Yoga Joshua Tree. <laughs> sure. Black Widow. I like big butts. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Hell Creek. Uh, the name of my ex-boyfriend name redacted plus shirtless. Ah, what? What? Whoa! <laughs> Can I see which one? It, let me see. I'll explain. Oh, God. I'll explain. Okay. Models reading books. <laughs> Glog recipe. Disapproving rabbits. Oh. And acne probiotics. Oh, are there any? Well-rounded. Uh, Specifically what? acne probiotics? Yeah. Oh, I have it. That's one. That's one of my fuck bats. Okay. I'll talk about it. Okay. So, I, do you want any? I don't want to know any. I don't want to know a reason for any. any no, can I? Can't. At least, well, the, yeah, least the ex-boyfriend so, shirt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What's the What's the story? There? Um, I was actually. I don't want to. I don't want to piss you off, but I did go out to lunch with him. We're just I friends. know that you went out. Yeah. I could tell. How'd you know? I could just tell. Okay. Um, what's, what's the vintage on this? <laughs> oh, the vintage on this. We broke up two months ago. It was a super sad, okay. weird. Right. Terrible. We addressed it in a whole episode that we have never aired yeah. because I started crying in the middle of it. But the short story is I dated a guy off and on the night that our TV show premiered. He attempted suicide in my apartment. Right. And yeah. it was just like you saw, saw me the you next right day. After, yeah. You saw me the next day and I was a wreck. And I was like, oh, my God, he's going to think I'm think crazy. It's healthy for them to, to no. be in each other's lives. <laughs> Although, but we're actually we're friends. We haven't even like we haven't even touched each other. It's been okay. really good. Okay. So we're trying to like be friends without having it be weird but um but we were talking about what you what like a legacy of what people are known for and i'm like i'm pretty afraid that i'm going to die and be ali ward mcnuggetini mm. and so um we're like let's put our names in and see what the first thing that comes <gasps> up and the first thing that came up for him was shirtless and what the, was yours i think mine came up and it was age <laughs> people oh, trying no. to find out can we all do this real quick people trying to find out how old i am ali ward oh ali ward and georgia hardstark ali ward age ali ward instagram ali ward married <laughs> Uh, oh, no, you're married. married. What yeah. else? Um, there's Ali Ward uh, Hot, Ali yeah. Ward um, Podcast. Hey. So, but it's creepy. Can you but put mine in. I've never done that before. And but it's like the autofill of what's most. Oh, it's God. a super stupid, dumb, narcissistic thing. But it came from totally. a place of like I'm afraid that McNuggetini is well, my last name. is not even on there. Georgia Hardstark Wiki, Georgia Hardstark Instagram, Georgia Hardstark uh, Age, Georgia Hardstark MySpace. Whoa. <laughs> Georgia Hardstark Twitter. Teeth? Anything on my teeth? Nothing about your teeth. <laughs> what are you talking about? I mean, they're pretty prominent. I mean, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Georgia Hardstark personality? No. That's There's IMDb. <laughs> There's also a Georgia Hardwoods. I don't know who this bitch is, but oh, I'll tear I'm her face off. Um, oh, man. So, yeah, so that's what I, but that's why know I have ex boyfriend shirt. Sure, sure. I mean, no, my. Do you want to know what your, if we looked up your name, what would What your, what's related to do it? Do you want to sure, know? Yeah. You don't have to know. What, no, no, no. I, I this look, is. <laughs> the, yeah. You've done it. it. Um, <laughs> Aaron McGathy, Instagram, Aaron McGathy, Twitter, Aaron McGathy, Dan Harmon, Aaron McGathy, this feels terrible. Etsy, age, wiki, blog. Nothing, uh, nothing like uh, Aaron legit. McGathy, there is fungal a... infection. Like, <laughs> like that. Uh, producer Dustin knows that, like, I I think like I went I, I don't remember when I was talking about this but on my podcast or somewhere else I was talking about being fat and at one point the first time that I did that the first thing that came up was Aaron McGathy fat and <gasps> I wanted to oh. like I was texting do you remember that Dustin is it just because yeah, you yeah, said yeah. something about it I think so because it went away but I like it was the first time I had done it and oh, I was like oh my god but why that why sounds hurtful, hurtful. I know that's it's why I was like the, teeth right no my teeth are fucking no yeah Mine, yeah, mine is like like old crumbling uterus. <laughs> like how old am I? A reason though is because you you say on your podcast all the time I used to be a fat kid, so oh. people are trying to see pictures of you because they can't believe right. you were fat. Our producer well, Dustin is also our therapist. Like, you know, yes, you know, can I? Uh -oh. It's it's Dustin you called to me. Um, I recently discovered a Twitter feed this week. It's it's at Google Poetics. Oh dear, what is that? it's a feed that. They take they type uh, phrases into Google and then they uses they use the autofills to write poetry. 
Love this. Uh, so here's one. It's uh, I can't get high. I can't get hard. I can't get her off my mind. Oh my god! I so love it crowdsources it. the most like common searches for like so beginning cool. of words, and then it turns them into poetry. That is beautiful. <laughs> one of them is like. Uh, I am bored. I am Beyonce. I am become death. And it's just like <laughs> amazing poetry. That is amazing. Allie, uh, this week, Allie was hashed, was, um, was tagging me in a bunch of Instagram photos with the hashtag Burning Man 2013. It's the best. And just kept saying, Georgia, we should go next week. And there's like, s- like the worst photos of like this like terrible carnival of <laughs> yes. Um, um, you gotta, you gotta get on that. What were we just talking about? Oh, oh yeah, we're, it's your turn. Oh, okay. This is exciting. Erin yeah, no, is- McGathy's going to read the things that she's searched for recently on Google on her phone. All right. <laughs> uh, hexagonal dice template. <laughs> <laughs> Gail Garcia Bernal. Gypsy Boots. <laughs> Dave Chappelle, Boise, Idaho. All right. Wonderwall. Okay. Mm-hmm. If brisket is tuss- tough, roast more. <laughs> 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 Pastry lid. Uh, medieval JB. Table setting. Goldie, Sin City. Potato masher. Beet brisket. Peoples, as in P-E-E-P-L-E-S, as in the black romantic comedy. <laughs> uh, Cambria Dog Friendly, Black Boar, and Aaron McGathy Age. <laughs> Which, I don't know why I Googled that. I know how, yeah, I do. I think I was like, I saw, th- I, I don't know why I like, like, wanted to see curious. what people, can people find know. out? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm 28 years old. It's no you're secret. You're a child. Thank you. I know you're a tiny baby. Yeah. It's not time for you to start no. uh, associating your name plus age. <laughs> yeah. Give yourself a couple. Of yeah. I, I know so she, will, she will remain nameless, but she was she's she's kind of like she's a she's an actress, comedian who I know when she was like 24 started lying about her age, <gasps> knowing that she would later like she changed it. Like oh, uh, everyone thinks that I she's think 10 I know who years. It is. <laughs> oh my god, I want to know. So, so she did it so early that at this point, that's in the records. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she looks she and she looks very young, but she's literally ten years I older. I totally, I, think I know who it is too. I always th- my problem with lying about your age is that then you look like shit for your age. Sorry. Oh wait, what was our what question were we on? Uh, we were oh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. So I read all my, I read all my things. All right. This thought. Which, by the way, side note with Gail Garcia Bernal. uh, I was watching this movie. I mean, he's very handsome. Yes, he is. And I, I was had a glass of wine. I was watching this movie and was looking up pictures of him. And my boyfriend was helping. I was like, "Can you help me with this app?" (laughs) Picked up my phone and there was a picture of him like holding his little baby. Oh no! It was fine. I was like, I was watching a movie with him. (laughs) We're allowed to have our male. Is that your yeah? Your crush? Your I was obsessed with Christian Bale as a kid, and I'm still huh. still would have a still have a little a, a little crush, a little yeah. A but it, through through a weird series of events, got to do a little scene with him in a <gasps> movie. Shut up! Yeah, and it was it was was he awesome too? Yeah, I mean, I, I yeah, I don't know. It was weird. <laughs> it was it was like his, seeing your dog has its tail in its mouth and it's just Stop. walking in a circle. Yep. <laughs> it was like seeing a ghost. Oh, <laughs> oh, with Christian Bale, you're like, yeah, I yeah, know yeah. you, but I don't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think like Gail Garcia Bernal is very handsome. I used to have a huge crush on him, but I don't really have crushes on celebrities. I don't either. Alex, do you have one? I guess you've never mentioned it. <sighs> I don't either. I'm trying to think. That's um, I don't set my sights on successful people. <laughs> That is part of it, yeah. So, um, so what about like uh, Corey Feldman then? Oh, death. <laughs> um, uh, I think that um, I did have a raging crush on Balthazar Getty when I was a tot. I don't know who that is. He was in Lord of the Flies and he was dating Mila Jovovich. This oh, is in yeah. like in the late 80s. Um, but in terms of like celebrity, like, oh, I'll see a movie if he's in it. Oh, yeah, I don't do that either. I don't. I, like, I have some crushes on, like, scientists, maybe. Like, but they're... I used to have a big crush on Jonah Lair before that whole Bob Dylan thing. Wow. On who? Jonah Lair. Who's that? I, Is this, like, sociobiologist? Is that a real term? That's a... Yeah, I think that's... You can use that term. Like a Malcolm Gladwell yeah. person. And he's fine. He just... He, he made up some stuff. Oh, shit. It's kind of... He, he got crucified. And oh. it probably shouldn't have been. But... Horror poor thinkers i get like i'll get crushes on on people on based on their twitter but then they're horribly ugly so i'm like if i if (laughs) i had an encounter with them sexually i would probably be very flustered and not you know what i mean but i'm like ah but you got a good brain so i don't know i don't i don't yeah that's weird and especially this summer like i haven't had a crush on anyone really i'm just sort of like i think it's me time people i know pretty pretty i like having a crush i feel like it's a kind of a fun distraction yeah how do you guys tend to fall in love like do you Ugh. Do you like? I'm so <laughs> shallow. Far away, are you? I'm so shallow. I start with my vagina. inside out or outside in. I'm so you're outside in. 
Well, I also, if someone's funny and witty, then I, I instantly like them much more. So maybe it's not super shallow. But the guys that I've dated, I've usually been like... I'm usually attracted to their to being funny. I don't know because I dated a really funny guy who was very ugly. But then the last guy I dated is also funny, and he's like stupid young, hot, like mm. too young for me, and it's too much muscle. What about you? How do you fall in love? That's a bad answer. <laughs> no, <it's good. laughs> um, I, 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 inside, inside out, fall in love. Um, my boyfriend previous to my current boyfriend, who I definitely fell in love with inside out, not just, and that, now I am so attracted to him, but like yeah. when I first met him, I, I, I didn't think that he was my type. He's older than me. Um, and my boyfriend p- before him was really, really handsome and really charming and the worst person on the face of the planet. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I like, he, he was just like really hot. And then I was convinced that I liked him. I think with anybody, and this is this is just me, but I I realize that if I sleep with somebody, I'll have, oh this is a terrible I don't know if no I, go I don't know if yes. I've ever said this out loud. <laughs> um, <Boring it. laughs> well, I I really don't want to be alone. Um, I've said that a million times. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a really hard time being alone. Uh, I want to look up to the person I'm with. Me too. So yeah, and I I had. Like a like, I'd say like six relationships in a row where someone was dating me because they looked up to me or admired me, and then got competitive. Like, so, and I'm oh. sure you, I know you guys have experienced that. Yeah. Competitive dudes, yeah. Competitive dudes who aren't who don't seem com- competitive up top, um, but they like can't be happy for your wins because they're a little bit jealous of it. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I had a boyfriend. We broke up right after this, but like something really great happened to me, and he's like, "Well, you're lucky you're a woman." That that was, and I was like, "Well, okay, oh, that's, uh, true. that's thanks. really <laughs> shitty. Thanks, super lucky super, you're a woman. Yeah, yeah. that's a that's yeah, a thing. Has nothing to do with yeah. any sort of. I fall for talent. guys too in that way where it's like I think it's like almost like an older brother thing where I'm like I want I want to learn things from you. I mean. Not that I want to be the ding dong dum dum in the relationship, yeah, but yeah, I really yeah. like someone that has their shit together, is uh, um, confident, and like a big thing for me is like when you go to a restaurant with someone and they like it's a long wait. I want them to walk in and put the name down on. I know this is crazy, but oh I really? Want, <laughs> yeah, like I this you, is like you, a definition you for me. Aggressive, not aggressive, confident. Like, for, yeah. Like forceful, almost not for. Ugh, I, don't know. I want them to put the maitre d in a headlock, <laughs> slip a twenty in their mouth, and be like, "We'll take the window." Exactly, like exactly. Um, I like a guy I, with a gun. I just know, like, I, I I lucked I lucked out with my current relationship because he was really insistent about hanging out, and I didn't want to at first because he was my my friend's boss and it felt inappropriate, mm-hmm. but. Uh, she was like we had a brunch and she signed off on it so uh, he was just like he put effort into it is what you're saying uh, <laughs> that's nice well we, well we became like we when we first met and were hanging out like couldn't couldn't stop talking to each other literally yeah. hung out every single day like it was it was such a great time um and then when we started dating like I wasn't I, I was like kind of on the fence about how I felt about him sexually, which is weird to say, mm-hmm. and not a secret. Like he's aware, but like we were literally like sitting on his couch after spending days and days and days together and talking for hours and hours and hours. And he said that he thought that I was funnier than he was. And something happened in my vagina and in my <laughs> heart. And like, and I mean, it's it sounds so fucked up to say, but it's more real than like with previous boyfriends where I'm like, oh, those teeth. Yeah. Those well, abs. It's really exciting when someone you think is really funny or smart thinks the same of you because yeah. it's like really flattering. It's not just some idiot who's like, oh, you're funny. You're funny. No, it's yeah. like this person whose humor you respect and whose wit you respect and they think you're funny too. The yeah, volley. Yeah. It's a good to have a good volley. Yeah. I feel like <laughs> without a good volley, it's just like, uh Should we ask one more yeah. question and yeah. then we'll do fuck that? Oh, yeah. This is getting revealing, and I love this. Oh, ghost story. Oh, yeah. Do you have a ghost story? Um, Does someone you know have a ghost story that you can steal? (laughs) Um, Yeah, I think so. I mean, I I, I thought of something. Have you ever seen a ghost? Mm, 
No, I don't think so. When I was a when I was a kid, I grew up in a Christian family, and I one night was reading the Bible, and I felt like this rush of calm, and I said it to this lady at my church, and she's like, "You saw an angel." I was like, "I don't know if I I don't know if I saw an angel." Um, she's like, "No, you saw an angel. Was there a light?" And I was like, like yeah, "Yeah, there was a light." Yeah. So then, cut to me being brought in front of the church to say, like, <gasps> and then the angel came into the room. <laughs> oh God! Can angel you made me a sandwich. Can you say <laughs> you saw an angel again in her voice because. It was amazing. You saw an angel. <laughs> you saw. Wait, it. children read the Bible. Just sit there and read the Bible. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna make that. my ringtone for you. You saw an angel. Saw, I'm gonna have Dustin angel. make that. Um, I, oh, is this place haunted? This house. Oh, is this house? Haunted? Oh, okay. We're in so Aaron's here's house the thing, right now. Here's the thing with this house. I don't know. I don't think I believe in ghosts, but there have been. This house was built in 1929. And uh, 40 people died in the basement. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, what if? Ali's uh, almost lost. Oh, oh, I, I was like, how? <laughs> No idiot. one knows. <laughs> uh, so anyway. Oh, there are kids. When I say people, I mean kids. Um, <laughs> uh, there are, like, it's it's a very old house. And there the weird things that have happened have included... Uh, music playing really loud all of a sudden. What? And uh, like downstairs, that happened once, and Dan and I were like really freaked out about it and then Ugh. pretended Never that happened. it didn't happen. Um, you know, weird door slamming, <gasps> blood, <laughs> bloody messages, <laughs> get <laughs> out, weeping uh, blood. Wait, you know. seriously, door slamming though? Yeah, door slamming. But I mean, it's That's a big, it's a big draft, icky. drafty house. It's a, drafty. It, I, this house, if, if anyone's going to have a haunted house, it's going to be. To people who live in this, I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah. The house seems haunted. I don't even believe in ghosts. Does it? Seems, yeah, there, it's just like really? I have in a no, weird No, it's way. stately. It's a it's, stately yeah, home. So old. then I think like I respect it. So I feel like right. it's got it's but got like, room for ghosts. My apartment's yeah. too small for ghosts. They're like, oh, this is cramped. Yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? If I were a ghost, I would live yeah. here. It's at I'd, Central Air. Yeah, I would go somewhere where I would have a room to myself if I were a ghost. <laughs> like I wanted to slam, slam a door in peace. So if I wanted a ghost fart, I'd like to go in another room. <laughs> all right, so door slam. All right, that's pretty. Maybe legit. you should yeah. stop like trying to invoke evil, like medieval spirits. <laughs> Maybe it's like it's a medieval spirit, not an evil spirit. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, I, yeah. Want, I want some, I want some venison pie. I know. Yeah. They're like, this reminds me of my childhood. Uh, should we do fuck that? <laughs> yeah, let's do fuck that. Okay, so we fuck that is something you love so much you want to fuck, and something you hate so much you're like, you're like fuck, fuck that. that. Um, okay, do you know Georgia? No, you, you go first. Okay, I'm gonna say my. For fuck that, like, like lay it down, make love, sweet love, love it. to it, is I, a million things, a million alive things in the form of a probiotic capsule. Oh. Do you guys take probiotics? I'm not talking about no, Gogurt. I, I, I heard that. Forget. Yeah, <laughs> um, I've heard that they're great. I don't. I well, heard. okay. So I've had some in my fridge for like ever because they're these like capsules you buy them at Whole Foods. They're called Gero, Gerodophilus. Oh, I have those in my There's freezer. like five yeah. billion organisms per pill, which is disgusting to think that all of those things are alive inside of me right now, like awesome. eating my salad. I think that's disgusting. <laughs> However, so my skin has been really finicky. My skin's been like super shitty. Georgia and I have to wear makeup, and some days I'm like, put as much as you possibly can on because my skin has just been really a mess, and I've been stressed out and stuff. So I started taking probiotics um, like last week, and my skin has been like perfect. Yeah, your skin does look yeah, like you look great. Fucking crazy. Night and day. How, or is it, a, is really, it the so same one? Probiotics is it digestion. Like, how does well, that? I, I really don't know. I started looking into it, and apparently, it's like it's things that live in your guts, and um, and they fight off like bad things in your guts, essentially. So you have to have like a good balance. But if you don't have a good balance, like it, you're you get a Yeast lot of your serotonin. Well, because of that too, my right? vagina's been on the up and up. But thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. But um, but Together. everything's fine. Um, but it's unused. At the moment, <laughs> but it's fine. It's probably for the best. It's in the yeah. It's like got a. It's got like a sheet thrown over it, like a furniture in the Hamptons during the winter. <laughs> <laughs> it's very sad, but um, <laughs> but like, but yeah. So, but a lot of your serotonin is made in your stomach too, which is in, is made oh, in your okay. guts. Oh, uh, that's a lot of your serotonin production, which is why if you have like depression and stuff, like your stomach will get all I have fucked up. Never heard that. So if you're intestines are fucked up that can also affect your mood and so probiotics they regulate all kinds of things in um, in relation to your butt i think you know what i'm talking about but also <laughs> your skin improves a lot and then you're in like a more chipper mood so, also because you don't have a bunch of zits do you have a specific one you like or can you just take any i've been taking this stuff that i've had in my refrigerator and like forgot to take for yeah, a year called those it's called gerodophilus yeah and there you know, i just take like one a day with a, like an omega-3 capsule also and my skin is like 
never looked better. Wow. That's I can't awesome. fucking figure it out. And it's fuck great. Yeah. So fuck That's great. Yeah, that I hard. Been really weird lately. I'm going to yeah. do that immediately. I'm going to go home and take yeah. that. Probiotics. Read up on it. Doing it. Um, the thing that I fucking hate so much. Um, this is, seems so cliche to say. But uh, I got War. real. I know. It was like <laughs> conflict. <Serious. laughs> just selfishness. You just say Syria. Yeah. I hate Syria. I hate, <laughs> like whatever Syria is, I hate <laughs> it. It sounds bad. It sounds super bad. Um, I'm trying to think of things that I hate a lot. And the only thing that comes to mind off the bat is super cliche. But the um, how many women took off their clothes at the VMAs really bumps me out and pisses me off. That was a really ugly. Justin Timberlake did not. You were never like, when's he going to take it off and be in a G-string? And I'm just like, you know what? Fuck you, everyone. We're still really living yeah. in the dark ages. Women yeah. are still. And then I was thinking, we have been in bikinis on our show and been only in underpants on our show. Yeah. And I was like, am I part of the problem? Yeah, we are. <laughs> I can't tell. Is that part of the Anyway. Yeah. And so I'm just sort of like. Like, ugh, we have a lot. We have pretty far to go in that realm of like. Actually, Dustin tweeted something. Uh, VMAs, more like TNAs, to for women <laughs> to objectify themselves and corporations to sell ads against. Am I right? I retweeted that shit. <laughs> ah, that's funny, yeah. Dustin, our producer. But it's true, and I, I feel like everyone's like, "Oh, Miley, what a slut!" And you're like, "How about just the system? Let's look at the system." <laughs> right. That's my. So that's my fuck that. Okay. What do you hate? Other than gushers? Apparently, you fucking hate gushers. <laughs> um. I hate my apartment. Oh. I want to move, and I'm oh. going to. Why fuck do you your apartment. It? Yeah. It's hot as fuck. The kitchen's... I realize that I haven't cooked in the past year, and it's because I hate my kitchen. Oh. And uh, also, fuck cereal beetles, because I have an infestation of them. Uh, cereal beetles. Say, yeah. I thought you were about to say Syria. <laughs> Syria beetles. You know what I love so much I want to fuck? What? Is BuzzFeed lists. 25 top whatever. Yep. The 13 <laughs> most whatever. Yep. We call them listicles, listicles in the journalism field. Listicles. I, yep. Like, I know that it's just like, it's people, it's for like people who don't like to read and it's like easy journalism, but I fucking love it. BuzzFeed's got some funny things. Yeah. I'll just cry. There's somewhere like, I'm just with the, uh, with the, with the BuzzFeed lists. Like the oh. list of like, these things will make you, yes. that one that was like, these things will make you happy if you're having a bad day. Yeah. Just oh. weeping. Yeah. Yep. Well, and, there's a lot of them of like, why cats are stupid. And it's just like 25 GIFs or GIFs? Yeah. I think GIFs is the... They decided on GIFs. Okay. 25 GIFs of cats just doing stupid shit, and it just makes my day. It just makes my fucking day. You can can slow bone that. (laughs) Slow bone it so hard. You can get up in BuzzFeed's business. Thank you. What about you? Hey, Aaron McGaffey. McGaffey. Let us know. Um, hmm. Um, I think... (laughs) My dog wants to play fetch so badly right now. (laughs) He keeps bringing you this wet bear, the saliva wetted bear. Yeah. Sorry. Um, let's see. Uh, I love, I fucking love in a positive way, I think my female friendships right now. Aw, nice. Um, <laughs> uh, I, like, I'm realizing that, uh, I think I've, oh God, I hate it when I say I've talked about this before, but, <laughs> but I'm really, in lieu of, like, my party and stuff, it's, it's so... Like I, there was such a long time when I wasn't really hanging out with women. I was just hanging out with boyfriends or the, my boyfriend's friends mm-hmm. or male friends that probably were waiting around to sleep with me or <laughs> whatever else or not, which didn't flatter myself, um, which is what guys hear <laughs> no, when they hear that. You're probably correct. Um, but uh, yeah, so I've been having such a great time hanging out with girlfriends and um, there's some pretty rad girls in our yep, circle. There are, friends. yeah. We know a lot of cool. You know what I really don't like is when girls. I heard this on that that show. Eat. Eat, drink, love uh-huh. on Bravo. One of the girls said, it's so great to meet so many of you cool women because there's such a shortage of cool women. And it's like, no, there's not. Yeah. Yeah, You're not very worse. nice to people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I hate, yeah. Well, uh, well, on that note, I fucking hate it when after a show, women will come up to me and say, you know what? I don't think women are funny, but like, <gasps> you're funny. Shut up. You know, up. or like, I, you know, like, let's, or when men do that too. I but don't like, like women a lot of do women it. Women, yeah, it. yeah. Oh it's God. Women feel... It makes us feel uncomfortable, like the um, whole... Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's like being like, I don't like to normally hire black people, but you do an okay <laughs> job. Wow, like, you are clean. <laughs> you are put together. <laughs> the worst oh, thing. I, I can understand what you're saying. We had, we had... 
Um, because we did drunk history on Comedy Central. Oh my god, which was so oh. great! I can't believe that wasn't the first thing <laughs> oh that god. I did not mention. That was but so fun. You. There, a lot of the comments on the preview are like, "Ugh, I hate it when they have women doing it. Like, they got to get these women. Women off. aren't like, funny. women aren't funny. Like, just <laughs> over and over again, <laughs> like idiots. Yeah, it's just it's really funny to be like, oh, we're past all the bad stuff, right? You're like, oh no, no. <laughs> One no, of the comments on the YouTube this bothered oh, yeah. me was someone. Sh- these girls are not funny. Someone should rape them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. These two dumb what bitches need to get raped but yeah i was that's like such a common thing i saw that on a reddit thread uh, really very recently about about me yeah oh my god it's just <laughs> it's, i mean it's just it's ridiculous anything. well you know it's and i and i know this is like this is this is very cliche to just say automatically well you know it's a 15 year old boy or you yeah, know it's yeah. a 50 year old man not who's like, okay like either way it's not okay but it is like I, I don't know. I think maybe like I've eclipsed being offended by the <laughs> yeah. rape thing yeah. because it's it's just this insane. Vi- it's like them saying, "I want to ninja star them in the face." Yeah. It's like well, you don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah. You don't know what you mean. Like, okay, I know. Because I immediately shocking. I'm thinking like of like r- like actual rape and how awful. Yeah. And then I'm like, they, they want that to be happen to me? No, they just use that word like yeah. slang, which is yeah. Not, okay. They're just being not shocking. Okay. Not okay. No, no, it's 100. percent It's 100 percent not okay. But um, now, it, but I'm not going to carry my pepper spray out at all times now you're not going to spray reddit in the in the laptop <laughs> with it actually lindy um lindy west has a has a twitter one more thing that will that i'll will throw into the fuck that good um is lindy west has a really great twitter she yeah, discusses she does, yeah. a lot of that so um i i follow her i like to hear although i feel bad i feel like she has to carry the whole like don't be an asshole misogynist on all of her shoulders it's like any problems yeah, with, with women yeah. just direct them toward lindy west exactly. thank you very much well and people don't really they they give her like you're saying we're carrying all this stuff on her shoulders they people also assume that she hates things that she doesn't because mm. she's the the most like prominent voice in that yeah. discussion it sucks but um, i think but um, i appreciate her yeah i think um i think being ladies with a voice is is all i ever wanted out of a job so i think it's great that all three of us get to do that yeah, i think it's nice we get to have actual voices into microphones thanks for yeah. listening i think yeah. um we'll have to find aaron mcgathy you, what's your twitter yeah um, mm-hmm. at aaron mcgathy okay and you're on your instagram also Aaron go to McGaffey. hashtag ugly cakes by McGaffey yes. to look at her beautiful creations 